Hi, Taurus. Okay, Taurus, Four of Cups. This is a card where we see someone in solitude, someone taking a step back, contemplating, thinking about what's going on. Often we may say there's a level of discontent or feeling stagnant. Eyes here are focused on the Three Cups, missing opportunities because the focus is just right in front. You know that you, when you uh, tune out a bit, you sometimes miss opportunities. And so, you know, this is, uh, you may be reflecting on where you are right now. Are you happy? Are there things that could be improved? Ultimately, it would be wise to get up and to walk away from the tree, to get back into a place of movement or feeling more positive. If we stay here, then it can turn into a negative situation. It can be um, certainly uh, halting your, your growth, your development. And this sense of perhaps discontent. Here's the death card, Major Arcana. So the death card is... Many people find it a scary card or upsetting card, but you know, it's one of 78 cards. And this card is about a natural ending. Sometimes things need to end. Their lifespan is a certain lifespan and then it's over. And when it's over, it allows the opportunity for something new to come through. Uh, the new opportunities could lead to greater happiness, fulfillment. This could be the death of a way of thinking, the death of a routine or a way of living that you've had. Could be the ending of a relationship. It could be the ending of a job, but it's, it's an ending. And when we have an ending, it opens the way for a new beginning, for a new path. So... While it may be unpleasant, while it may stir deep emotions and reactions, you have to learn to cope with endings. You have to put them in perspective so that you can move forward. So in terms of guidance, we have the Nine of Cups. Always a lovely card to see. The happy man here with arms folded. So he's happy. He feels content. He feels fulfilled. Nine cups here. That's a lot of abundance. And so maybe behind this, there's been a lot of hard work. So from this sense of dissatisfaction, could be, malaise, could be malaise, uh, boredom, stagnant, something ending, at least with guidance, we're moving to a place where wishes can come true, where contentedness can, can come through and feeling happy, enjoying what you have and the life that you've built. That once you're able to let something go, to put it in perspective, this is the possibilities for you. And uh, again, content, Comfort, enjoyment, finding enjoyment. This is a wish fulfillment card. Make a wish, set your intention. So in terms of guidance, we see this four of swords, another four, four of cups, four of swords. And this is a, perhaps a, just a recommendation from the universe or from spirit, which is saying that You've been through a lot lately. And take a break. Just take a little break away from a scenario, from a situation. Give yourself a chance to rest, to recover, to restore. To restore your juices, to, to get your energies back. Dealing with things that end, like I said, we learn to cope. But it can be exhausting. It can be draining. So with the Four of Swords, Give yourself the chance to meditate, to rest, to do things to take care of yourself. Pray, journal, spend time with others that build you up. But this is taking time out for yourself 
to put yourself in a better position uh, in terms of recovery. Okay, so we have the Hierophant Major Arcana as a possible outcome. So we're talking about traditions and we're talking about convention and we're talking about institutions like, you know, universities, education, graduate degrees, certain professions, religion, being indoctrinated in many ways. This is a group think, it's the collective. And so possible outcomes is that, uh, you know, I feel when I see this six of swords that there is a break perhaps from tradition, from what's expected of you, that this is a card of transition, this is a card of movement. It's a card of moving on to more peaceful waters. And here's the... The rougher water, here's the calm water, and here's the cloaked figures. They're being supported by this oarsman who's, um, you know, pushing them away, pushing them in their new direction. Are you allowing this tradition or this institutional idea or practice, are you allowing it to die? Are you getting over that? That once this ends... Your wish, perhaps, is to move away from whatever this may be, whether this is marriage, whether this is an organized group, an expectation that you do something in a certain way. Uh, you may feel that you need to set your own course, you need to chart your own course, and you need the freedom to do so. So a lot of these are disciples, a lot of dogma, a lot of um, expertise. Work hard through your life and this will happen. Keep working hard. Um, listen to us. Trust what we're telling you. So you either have to have a lot of faith in the institutions and in this collective or you're saying, hmm, I'm going to let this part of my life go and I'm going to move on. It's going to Give me the freedom to move on. And moving on, particularly after something ends, and your wish could be to find the happiness that you've been hoping for. So interesting cards. Let's get a little more information from the oracle cards, and this will be a focus area or meditation point for the week. Grace and gratitude, through gratitude, joy expands. So a simple affirmation, which is to take, uh, take account of your life. What are you grateful for? How do you show grace through difficulty? Two important words, which is when you're grateful and when you show gratitude, you know, it raises your vibration. It Breaks everything down to a simple place. Be grateful and count your blessings. Start with your health. Start with the people that love you. And now we're going to get a message, an angel message for spirit or emotional self. The inner voice. Thank you, angels, for guiding me through my inner voice. Pay attention to that voice because it speaks loudly and sometimes we don't listen. Sometimes we push it back down. But trust your instinct. Trust what the message is that you're feeling within your hunches. They're important. It's important to do. And finally, let's choose a card for love. Be 
Be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. So again, being authentic to who you are attracts like versus like and the idea of the law of attraction. And so, you know, if you're pretending to be something that you're not, ultimately it's going to be revealed. If you are who you are with your wonderful qualities and maybe not so wonderful qualities, that's cool because everybody has the same thing, has, you know, what they're wonderful at and then their little whoopsies as well. So just be true to who you are. Good things will come. So Taurus, this is what I have for you. I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. And I hope you have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.